What about past life regression? Past Talk life regression. Talk about that. I mean, that's something I think a lot of people relate to with hypnosis, don't they? Well, it's a fascinating area, a fascinating field. And I, I, I will say from the very outset that on that subject, I really consider myself sort of agnostic. I don't really know. I have had past life regression done to me by uh, the man, the my best uh, hypnosis teacher, a man in Florida by the name of Jerry Kine, who incidentally taught um, Dr. Brian Weiss, who wrote the book Many Lives, Many Masters, about past life uh, regression in hypnosis. He's been on Oprah Winfrey and quite a few shows. The man who taught mm -hmm. me taught, taught him. Right. And um, uh, the, at the very least, past life regression is interesting in the fact that it, pre it it, the person who's being hypnotized who experiences something in a, in a past life, real or imagined, is at least producing a metaphorical um, thought in their mind that really might lead to uh, other, uh, other awarenesses that they can, they can yet have. So if somebody sees themselves in a past life having done, been a, a particularly bad person, it might be speaking to how they're seeing themselves now. And then, you know, if that's the case, then I would probably refer them on to, you know, to a therapist or sure. somebody to deal with those issues. All right, so you work with other doctors is one of my questions yeah, also. Yeah, doctors come to me. I have psychiatrists yeah. Yeah. who come to me for hypnosis, many psychologists, um, uh, people of all different pers persuasions, doctors, children, uh, yeah. and so on. But, and, but you'll refer out and you'll get referred to, so you have a network of uh, other disciplines that work with you well. Yes, absolutely. A okay. lot of chiropractic uh, yep. also. You know, they, so. there's a uh, a great connection between you know the the, the physical self and, and physical issues, and also just the you know the ability to relax and the and mm -hmm. the the interface between those two things. Are the effects of um, hyp hypnosis cumulative? Yeah, great question. Um, they really are in, mm -hmm. in a very very uh, specific way. Um, each time you're hypnotized, you tend to go deeper. Right. Um, you tend to go deeper and you tend to go into hypnosis more quickly. Mm -hmm. um, you're more comfortable with the experience. You feel, you understand what this feels like. And the mind records the feeling, so it recalls it very quickly. In hypnosis, you know, we can often give a, uh, um, a, a um, client a post-hypnotic suggestion so mm -hmm. that uh, in the next session, I'll just, you know, put my hand on the shoulder over there and they will just go into hypnosis one two three we've all seen that in stage yes. hypnosis it right. absolutely works wow it's an anchor yeah any other stories that would be very helpful to our audience here? oh boy oh boy how um, about kids with adhd for example i mean i know that's a real problem now uh, uh kids getting on medications and, exactly you know, exactly have you had experience with that i have yeah. um and uh i have found that um Kids uh, tend to, as 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 true for adults as well, tend to think better. Their mm -hmm. minds are able to focus their energy again. That chatterbox. That's really what we're hearing when we're scattered and all over the mm -hmm. place. Whether it's AD, ADD or or just just adult chatter, right. um, we are hearing. Uh, you know that the subconscious mind become overactive. Our our thoughts become more fragmented. And hypnosis has this wonderful ability to focus and channel and quiet that voice. So mm -hmm. we're really just hearing ourselves mm -hmm. without all of the extraneous background noise that distracts us. Um, uh, one of the uh, um, uh, technologies that I use is a light and sound machine um, right. on occasion, which is a, an amazing device that entrains the mind to go into the alpha and theta states, these states of deeper relaxation very similar to hypnosis. And I have one young man who's come to me, um, one of many, but this one particular one comes to mind who uh, really did have some attention deficit issues yep. and um, found that he was able to uh, play chess um, all of a sudden. He knew, it, he knew the game from his childhood, sure. but couldn't play the game as a teenager because his mind was all over the place. After hypnosis and using a light and sound machine, he became so much more focused. He plays now regularly against the chess master of his school and beats him almost every time. That's amazing. Just pulling out from the past, he just he already had it. Yeah, Lost he, it. he, now he, he got remembered it back. the game. It was just yep. his ability now to to focus. Uh, chess, we could you know we could easily say is the is the quintessential game of concentration. You really have to stay very focused and be thinking steps ahead, and mm -hmm. you can't play that game well if your mind is all over the yep. place. This young man, this particular story. Uh, was one of which he just he his mind became so much more 
attuned and, mm -hmm. and focused that he was able to play beautifully. Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you, Bob, I mean, from what you've said tonight and uh, from my experience speaking with you in the past, I mean, this is such a, a great therapy that I think more people need to know about it. I'm so glad you came on the show tonight. Well, so, I thank you for having me. Yeah. Uh, do you have any final thoughts before we wind up here? Um, yeah, I really, uh, I, I believe and and passionately know of the benefits of this modality. It's, mm -hmm. it's a natural ability that's always been in every human being. Everybody's hypnotizable. Mm -hmm. A very, very important fact. And people should experience it because in this day and age, whether it's from anxiety issues from, from the economy right. or wanting to lose weight, quit smoking, hypnosis really should be the first thing that people go to because yeah. People tend to use it often as the last resort when, in fact, they, they'd find remarkable results from it if they go to a good hypnotist right from the get-go. That's terrific. Well, I want to thank Bob for being on the show tonight. My that was pleasure. a great show. My pleasure. Great thank show, you Bob. for having me, Dr. Bazzani. You're welcome. And if uh, anyone in the audience has any questions for Bob or for myself uh, about hypnotism, uh, we'll refer them over to Bob, and you can uh, look at the website and or email us, and we'll be sure to get those questions answered and get them back to you just as soon as we can. So I want to thank you for being on the show and look forward to seeing you on the next show. Thank you.